Australians are really struggling with housing, paying for it in terms of the rent, securing it in a tight rental market, saving to buy it, and desperately trying to keep it with 12 interest rate rises in just over a year. And the only thing we seem to get from Labor governments, both state and federal, are promises of relatively small amounts of social housing with no real action to increase supply in the aspirational and mainstream markets. There's none of the action that's needed to curb inflation, either to give Australians back their purchasing power or to rein in the cost of building supplies. And without action on inflation from the federal government, the RBA has little left to do but keep on pulling that lever to raise interest rates. To my mind, it's appallingly irresponsible and it really does make a mockery of the hardship that so many Australians are experiencing. But let's bring in Luke Howarth, the federal member for Petrie in the northern suburbs of Brisbane, really part of that aspirational suburban belt where there's so many people who are facing this very position because I know he'll be able to work through some of the solutions. Luke Howarth, welcome to the program. Thanks for coming to me from Canberra. Luke, it's no exaggeration Thanks, to say Great that there is a housing you. crisis. It's a housing crisis in Australia right now. It's one of supply. It's also a crisis of price. And the two are connected, of course. What are the state and federal governments proposing to try and deal with this issue? Well, look, what they're proposing and what they're delivering are two completely different things. If we go back 14 months, the federal government, when Anthony Albanese was Prime Minister, proposed or promised a number of things. One, that life would be cheaper under him. Fail, that hasn't happened. Two, that uh, electricity prices would be cheaper under him. And three, that he'd lower mortgages. He promised that of his 2022 Labor campaign launch. Now, on all of those three measures, clearly Anthony Albanese and the Labor government have failed miserably. So what they propose and what they deliver are two completely different things. Uh, but in saying that, look, yeah. there, there are a few things they're tinkering with. Um, the state government in Queensland, for example, has a policy around granny flats, allowing them to be rented to unrelated parties, and other states are doing similar things. But in, in Canberra, they also made a tinkering with an old coalition policy, the First Home Deposit Scheme. They're enabling people not just that are buying their first home, but those have been out of the market for 10 years to access that scheme from July this year. And that, that will enable people with mm -hmm. a 5% deposit to have their mortgage insurance covered. So, I mean, that's a couple of things they're doing.